Hey everybody, welcome. It's Pam at the Paper Outpost. Welcome to the land of the messy desk. And today I'm just going to show you a quick and easy shaker card. Yay, shaker cards. Uh, these are fun little things that you can clip into any journal and you can also make them functional. You can put something on the back that might be of interest, but they're very easy and they use up some junk mail and let's get to it and I'll show you a little trick. Okay, so first of all, um, okay, I'll just show you prototype again. Okay, here's prototype. Okay, so this was a junk mail envelope that I used. I decided to work with the window that was already in there instead of cutting it out and peeling it out and all that type of thing. Use, with, use what I have and just work around it. So it's a very simple concept. Um, I put a little cluster in the corner here, a little word tag over there, did some stamping, a little bit of inking, and I put a recipe card that just happened to fit on the back. So if you've got some junk mail hanging around, Let's uh, let's uh, make some of these and you can put anything on the inside. Okay, I have this um, empty envelope came in the old maileroo and let me just back up a little bit more. Okay, um, let's go ahead and just cut off how long we think we'd like it. And this is uh, totally optional, but I'm just going to go about an inch above uh, where the window is and you can scissor cut or whatever you like. Okay got that and now we just need to seal it so I recommend um, gluing this side maybe with some um, I'm using scotch create permanent uh, glue stick uh, but pretty much any glue will work I recommend gluing that side and then closing it and then just double checking inside that you haven't glued it together if the glue went over a little bit so because your little sequins or whatever you're going to put in there might get stuck all right so now here's the little trick nothing no rocket science here but just a, okay no let's put our little picture inside and you can use anything you can use um uh like here i used a uh this is a random picture it was actually from junk mail um that picture um or i can use some maybe <clears throat> Uh, pictures you have drawn um, or uh, digi kits whatever you like but I'm just going to go ahead and put some flowers in here because it fits actually that's why so this is a long one and these can come different sizes sometimes you get a long e sometimes you get a double I would say just work with what you got and what you're going to do is you're going to glue the back of this to the inside I should probably glued that first okay yep yep probably should have oh well you know that's the way it goes okay so let me just tear some of the bottom off Okay, mm -hmm. maybe a little more. Mm -hmm. and that's going to fit nicely. And then how far do I want to go high? Well, I can go a little higher than I need to. I mean, like a little higher than the window because I've got all this space up there. So I'll probably go to go to about there. And, oops, got my microphone cord caught. Excuse me. Okay. How's everybody doing today? I hope you're having a dandy day. Okay. Now, so the idea is, well, let's just do a test location. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. That'll work. This is just a little a copy of a watercolor I did a while back. And um, so, yeah, you can remember, um, you can always use your own art and make um, copies of it and put it in your journals. And you can use pieces of your own art if you like to draw or anything like that. And uh, or those easy flowers, remember? Um, those can go in there, too. OK, so important to get the edges. So you don't want the uh, sequence getting stuck behind your picture. All right. Now. Like this is where I said I should have probably put glued this in first when the whole thing was open, but it, it'll, it's still going in. It's all right. There we go. So get it in position. Is that the right best way? Let me try this way if I get better flowerage. Oh, maybe that way is better. All right, we'll just go with that. Yeah, I like that. All right, and then smoosh it. Smoosh, smoosh. Okay. And you can leave. Um, uh, now, just double check that you're still able to open this because you want to put a few sequins in there. All right, so I just have this little bag of um, unknown, odd be notes, little oddball things. So I'm just going to put a little bit in here. I'll you know, try a little bit first. And you'd be surprised, they go far. So you don't need like a thousand in there. You just need a few to kind of roam around. Okay. And uh, you can put more in, but that's, I'm just going to put like maybe a quarter teaspoon in. Maybe that's what went in. And then I'm going to go ahead and seal this up. I'm going to use my Fabrifix glue here just because it's got a little point on it. And you don't want to put too much glue because you want to smoosh away with the glue, not towards the sequins, but away. 
and just double check your, your, so you can see some of them. Yep, we can see some of them, so that's good. And now the trick comes with decorating the outside. And um, the easiest way I have found to do the uh, decoration of the outside is, okay, I'm just gonna take some random papers. These just happen to be cut off leftovers from my uh, junk journals. I've got some avocado dye here. Okay, so let's, uh, let's take the whole outside of this. I'm going to go closer. Yeah. And let's um, let's uh, glue stick it down. This is a good strong glue stick. If you have, don't have a good strong glue stick, you may want to use some white glue or something like that. But get the whole area, including the corners. Okay. And then, oops, take what you have. All right. And you can go over a little bit. That's all right. Mm, I'm gonna go there over the area. All right, here. I don't know, I'm just grabbing what I have here. Uh, maybe we're gonna go over this area right to the edge of that. And then I still have some areas here I need to deal with. So I could actually use the overlay of this. Maybe I'm gonna take you, put you here. Okay. And maybe I'm gonna take a leftover hanger of you and maybe put you here. I don't need all of that. Let's see, maybe that. Okay, so now let's get rid of our extra. Okay, the way I like to do it is, um, now you could totally fold this over and cover the back, and that would be an option, or you can come along and cut it off with um, a craft knife, and so you get right to the edges. Now you gotta be very careful, you don't cut your envelope or else your, um, your little uh, uh, glitzy things will fall out. So maybe this time I'm going to try a fold over. Haven't done that yet, but come on along for the ride. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. All right, since it's all there, let's see how much we get out of this. Instead of having to cut, let's just use what we have, right? It's right there already. It's kind of cool paper. All right. And I, we'll have to probably do a little trimming in the end. Okay. All right. Yep. Yeah. Still in need of a little trim. Now, if you don't want to cut, you can tear. You should be safer not tearing too far that way. Okay. Same thing with this end. Can you see? Sorry. And uh, do a little tear roo. There we go. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Sonny. He's fine. He's over there. We'll do a little quick peek of him. And he's, uh, he's chewing on his little chew toy. All right. Hang on. What do you got to say for yourself, my lamb? Any words to the people? Hello, everybody. I hope you're having a lot of fun today. And uh, I'm teething. Yep, yep. That's what's going on in my life. Bye. <laughs> All right. There's hi from Sunny. And now we have this edge. We still have to cover this middle strip. So let's go ahead and do that. Hmm, I do have these. Maybe I'm just going to collage over this with what I have hanging around on the desk. What a novel idea. What a novel idea. Yes, yes, yes. Using up what you got. Okay. Like that there's a million and one ways you can do this. Yeah. Whatever you got hanging around, it'll work. And it kind of looks cool. Yeah. Um, let's see. Maybe there. I'll take that. And I'll probably need a little more glue on here. All right. So now we have the back covered. There we go. All right. Let's go back to the front. Okay. So now... Um, the idea with going around here, if you want an edge that looks more uh, torn or rumpled, what you can do is come in, see I don't have the little corner edges covered yet. You can come in layer, layer and layer up little bits. Um, like if you keep your glue stick open and just come along and put in some little torn pieces and put a piece there, piece there. We'll give you more of a rough edge. If that's the kind of edge you like, going around your, your little window pane. You can also do little tiny pieces. Okay. Well, obviously, I need to have something done here. Okay, there we go. And let's see, some more torn pieces right in the middle for you. There we go. This is a very relaxing... Um, option a nice way to use up some junk mail and um, you can also clean up your desk at the same time because you're using little bits and pieces maybe a tiny piece for the corner okay 
to cover that little corner. Wahoo there. Okay. And then well, I think once I hit the um, the brown, I might might come around. I don't know. I'm thinking. Let me just see how it all goes. I was thinking I might come around with the pink, but maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just going to go big and bold and leave it as is. Okay, you know what? I think I'm going to put a piece of pink here just to give a little contrast. So I'm just going to tear a tiny little piece, just a little ever so little smidgen. And I'm going to put it there covering the corner. Okay, maybe you need a piece there too to soften your little edge. And then you can go whatever direction you want to go in when you're decorating this. So... So I just got a few things that are flying around in there and um, the pretty background of choice. And let's see, let's maybe put a cluster in the corner. What do we got? What do we got? That's kind of pretty. We have options. Let's see. Let's see. Maybe this guy. That's kind of pretty. Oh, oh we got this guy. He's kind of cool too. Mm -hmm. Oh, still. You know, it's always good to have a pile of clusters. Oh, that's nice. All right, maybe we'll put wish there. Okay, we'll put wish there. And uh, see, this is another great way to use up your scraps. If uh, these are all actually glued together, I don't know why I glued them? So it's easier to staple them. But this apparently this group I glued. Maybe I couldn't find my stapler or something. That happens. That happens. Okay. Put that down there, and then maybe over in this corner, since we already have a word. Um, Maybe a cute little um, sticker or something like that might be cute. And I have a little mushroom floating around here. Does anybody see my mushroom sticker? Nope. Nope, it's gone. Okay, hang on. Got to get another one. Okay, I found a butterfly. Mm -hmm. I thought that was kind of pretty on there. Yeah. Or maybe up here? What do you think? I don't know. That looks pretty up there too. But I think maybe here. Or maybe like that. Oh, so many decisions, right? But I think it, it contrasts well. So... I don't think we can we can go wrong with this and it's okay if it covers over the the um window area a little bit i mean it's just a fun little thing you know and um we can do something on the back of this guy too now let's see how long it takes me to get apart okay i think it's working all right nope it's not working go the other way pam go this way because yes there you go you got the piece all right oh this one's pretty sticky so let's hope this one sticks down well there you go all right, how cute is that, right? And um, maybe you want to come around and ink the edges or not. The inking is not mandatory. It's just fun if you like to do it. And uh, you can see the little guys going in the corner already. Um, let's put some on the back. Maybe we want to do something on the back. Maybe we want to um, make it a usable surface or just a pretty collage surface. Totally up to you. No big deals here. Um, all right, what I was going to do is I'm going to put a little page from a, a writing notebook on the back to give somebody some writing space. Could do it like that. Could do it like this. Let's see. Um, now, you got also want to take into account how lumpy your um, little uh, sequins are. If they're very flat and smooth, no problem. It's a nice for a writing space. But if they're lumpy, maybe you want to do something different on the back. Um, or you could just continue with the collage doing something more, more intriguing. Um, let's see what do we have. Oh, you know what? Let's put some more stickers on the back. Um, these are kind of Christmas. Well, that, that's fast. No, find something else now. Find something else. And what do we have here? Oh, these are uh, like spring flowers. I'm totally into spring now. Can you tell? Everything is like spring motivated, spring oriented. Oh, that's pretty too. A little, uh, so you can also... Put your stickers right across the front if you wanted to do that. That would be very cute. But maybe I'll put this guy on the back. Maybe I'll just put him. I don't know where he's going to show up best. Maybe he needs a base. Let's give him a base. All right, maybe something like that. Okay, so let me just tear out a piece of this. This is just copy dyed uh, writing paper. Like learning how to write or music paper, something like that. Not sure, but either way, it's cute. I thought it would look very cute back here. Okay, I'll just tear a little of this head off. And we will go ahead and glue this down. Here we go. Yep, all the way around, all the way around. And gluing, and we're gluing. And put that little base on. There we go. All right, and then maybe just a sticker. Yeah, that's kind of cute. All right, let's do that. Let's see if we can get this part. 
This is always the trickiest part for me. Getting the stickers up. Okay, okay, no. Oh, this is good. Nice and stiff. Yeah, if you have any questions, you can always run some glue stick on the back of your stickers. But there we go. Okay. So let's take it up a notch so you can see. Now, if you don't like that shiny, you can go ahead and put a little uh, homemade gesso on the back to knock back the shine. Mm -hmm. I'll just give it a little bit of uh, clear gesso. Yeah, this is clear gesso. Um, I've shown you how to do that in a video. And um, there we go. Once that dries, that'll be matte, which is kind of nice. Let me just see this one so you can see. Okay, and then the other side, we have this. And there you go. So there's like lots of fun to be had with little very easy shaker cards. Um, just some fun using up some uh, junk mail I had around and thought you might like to come along for the ride. So I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. And uh, if you find value here, please like, subscribe, and share. Um, click the notification bell. Um, and my Amazon store houses favorite tools and supplies. I have an Etsy shop, which has vintage digital kits, as well as um, sometimes a journal or a bundle for sale. I have a monthly emailed newsletter where you get a free digital image, emailed to you monthly, a checklist of supplies, a note from the bookmaker, and um, some updates from the paper outpost and a junk journal tip. And my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern time. Podcasts come out Tuesdays and Thursdays. My playlists um, are linked below and at the end of the videos and on my channel page. And I have a Facebook group. Um, come on over. We're having a lot of fun over there doing weekly and monthly challenges. And you can find me on Instagram, Pinterest, Etsy, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook. And remember, everybody, that fun can be simple. And take care, everybody. I love you. Everybody be well. See you next time. Bye. <laughs> Bye from all of us.